narcissist will lose their minds if you do this. If you say no to the narcissist, if you refuse to do things their way, they will lose their minds. They will go insane. They will start behaving in a very silly and strange way. They will act crazy. And when you see how they behave, you will be glad that you didn't say yes. You will be glad that you didn't do things their way, which were based on their unstable emotions rather than any logic or reasoning. The narcissist isn't the sweet, kind person you thought they were. They are wearing a mask. And you will see who they really are when you say no to them but when you choose to not do things their way. That is when their mask will slip and then you will see who they really are. You have to be very cautious when you say no to them. Sometimes it's best to say no to them through an email or text rather than in person. As you never know how they might react. In most cases, they will become very angry and argumentative and in some cases they may even become physically aggressive physically aggressive behavior may include hitting kicking biting using weapons and breaking your possessions This is why it is very important to be cautious when you say no to them. You never know how they might react to you. Anything could set them off. They cannot deal with rejection. They cannot deal with you dismissing or refusing their proposal or idea. makes them feel worthless and insignificant. It makes them feel beneath you. So now, they have to put you beneath them. And that is when you will start to see the person underneath the mask. You will start to see who they really are. which can often be a blessing in disguise. It can be an apparent misfortune that eventually has good results. Because it's better that you see them for what they are in that moment than to wait five or 10 years after you have invested even more time, energy or money into them. Once they experience the feeling of rejection, dismissal or disapproval, they really don't know when to stop. They will often engage in these nagging behaviours where they are constantly harassing you 
to do something that you are averse to. Something that you don't want to do. It's persistent and continuous. It causes you great difficulty, annoyance, discomfort and anxiety. And you just don't know when it's going to end. They constantly criticise you. They persistently annoy and find fault with you. Until you get irritated and become angry yourself. And then you react to them in a way that might be out of character for you. They've just pushed you so far that you lose control of yourself. Because you just wanted to stop. But as soon as you blow and finally react to them, they calm down and point the finger at you. They ignore everything they did to provoke you up to that point and start focusing on your reaction. You can point out everything they did to provoke you but they're not going to acknowledge it. They're going to be focusing on your reaction to their behaviour. And they may even use your reaction as an excuse to punish you even further until you react again and again. And then they're just going to call you crazy. They're going to tell you that you're insane and you need to see a doctor. Which is why the best thing you can do is to avoid saying no to them directly as it will never end well. They can't deal with the rejection. They can't deal with you not agreeing with everything that they say and believe in. And they will criticise you. They will become emotionally abusive or even physically aggressive towards you. They will say all of this stuff about how you're a problem and nothing you do is ever right and everyone knows it. Yet at the same time, they still continue to pursue you. They're not leaving. So whatever they're saying about you is obviously a lie. It's obviously something that they don't really believe in. Or else they wouldn't continue to pursue you. Once they've had some time to calm down and they realise that you're not going to back down, they will often come back to you with an apology. They will tell you that they're sorry for what they said. They will tell you that's not what they are normally like. But as soon as you say no to them again, as soon as you disagree with them on something, it all starts again. It goes right back to the emotional abuse and physical aggression until you start to realise that this is who they really are.
they were only being nice to you because you were doing what they wanted you to do. They were getting something out of it. But as soon as you stop doing that, that's when you begin to see who they really are. That's when the mask begins to slip. But remember, it's a blessing in disguise. Be grateful that you're seeing this now rather than in five or 10 years. After you would have invested even more time, energy or money into them. If you look at it that way, you've saved years of your life. You've saved a fortune. And you can now take that time energy and money and invest it somewhere where you're actually going to get a decent return on your investment. You realize now that all you're going to get from the narcissist is hate, anger, and resentment. They're not going to be grateful for everything you've done for them. As soon as you say no, or you disagree with something they've said, they will forget all about that. And they will even tell you. You haven't done anything. So quit wasting your time with someone who is just going to take from you and never acknowledge your worth. Someone who is never going to be grateful for everything you've done for them and continue along your journey until you find someone who will appreciate you. Someone who will accept that you have your own boundaries. You have things that you accept and some things that you do not accept. Someone who will be understanding when you say no or when you disagree with something that they have said or something that they believe in. And then you will realize why it never worked with the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon and receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at marksforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.